Welcome back to Overkill Reviews. It's Sam Dunn, and I'm very happy to be back in the banger hangar. It's been a while since I've dug into a new metal record. A reminder, of course, everyone, please subscribe to Banger TV and help us grow this massive metal empire that we're trying to build. What have I been up to? Well, I've been doing a little old school metal t-shirt shopping in LA of all places. A little destruction, a little dark throne, a little bathory. Nice to have some new duds. But enough about the past. This week, I'm reviewing this. This week I'm reviewing the new album from Sluggage, entitled Esoteric Malacology, a bit of a mouthful there. Anyway, it's released worldwide today on Willowtip Records. And who is Sluggage, you might ask? Well, I think a lot of people are asking this question because Sluggage is a band that's been literally in the underground for most of their career. They formed in 2012 in Northern England, Lancashire to be exact, and this is their fourth full-length release, but it's the first release on a proper label, that being Willowtip Records. Now, sluggages, is that a word? Sluggages sound lies in that blackened tech death metal range. Based on what I've heard so far, a little bit of Carcass, a little bit of Black Dahlia, a little bit of Bloodbath, old school Opeth, but I don't want to give it all away because I haven't even got started. Let's get to the tracks. First track I want to dig into is called Crop Killer. And for those of you that don't already know, every song that Sluggage has ever done is about slugs. All right. Wimmy, wham, wham, wazzle. And so they're kind of a parody metal band and a lot of their song titles play off of popular metal song titles, hence Crop Killer. To Cop Killer, enough talk. What does it sound like? Now, it bears mentioning right off the top, what is incredible about Sluggage is it's two guys. Two pasty British guys living in the forest in Northern England, making this rather enormous, progressive, intense, extreme metal sound. It's pretty baffling and out of the gate, I'm pretty impressed because the song starts with this kind of proggy stew and it moves into this blistering moment. Yeah, for those of you that missed the days when Michael Ackerfeld used to belch into the microphone, that brought it all back for me. Love that deep, guttural sound that we're getting out of sluggage on that part. A little bit of bloodbath in there for you guys that missed the days when Ackerfeld was in that band. Anyways, enough comparisons. Good start with Crop Killer. It's heavy so far. Let's move on. Next track I want to look at on Esoteric Malacology is called Spectral Burrows. Yeah, Spectral Burrows. And man, this is good. So Spectral Burrows here, we're getting a very different feeling than Crop Killer. This has got that spacey, far more groovy, much more atmospheric side to Sluggage's sound. And frankly, I think they pull it off with some real skill. Some of you might be crying Gojira here and borderline derivative, but you know what? There's worse things to base your sound on. Check out this next part. Yeah, 
What impresses me here is the vocal range. You know, we're getting it all on this record so far, that deep guttural death metal approach and this more melodic singing style. And again, I come back to two guys Who's doing what? <laughs> I want to know. I do really like this song, Spectral Burrows, because it shows, again, the breadth of the sluggage sound. Let's go to the next one. Last track I'm going to dig into on the record is called Putrid Fairy Tale, and this was the song that was released a little ahead of the album, so this is the one that some of you might know. In any case, it'll undoubtedly get the carcass faithful. Very excited. I've said it already, I'll say it again. It baffles me that this is just two guys. Matt Moss, stage name perhaps, I think so, and Kev Pearson have managed to create this gigantic sound which right through into the back half of the record, which runs about 60 minutes long at eight tracks, just keeps pummeling you and pummeling you to the bitter end. <laughs> Sure, it's pretty obvious to you that I really like this record. There are a couple things about it, though, I'm not too crazy about. One is the sound of the drums. I would have liked to hear more room in those drums. They're a little clickety clack, a little flat for my liking. And the other thing is, some of these songs felt like a bit of a run on sentences. It's just a lot of ideas just getting packed into one song. Good ideas, but it didn't feel like the songs were as well constructed as they could be. Let's go to the verdict. All in all, really like this sluggage record, and I know we're early into 2018, but it's certainly one of my favorites so far. Amazing songwriting, great ideas, a real diversity of sounds, and a really nice mix of technical and more straightforward death metal that kind of hits the spot for me. You know, a lot of the writing about sluggage is obsessed over the lyrics and the imagery being all about slugs. And yeah, there's a funny parody there. Eight slugs. But really, at the end of the day, this is death metal. Who really cares what the lyrics are? For me, it's about the music. And there's great music on this record. Check out Sluggage Esoteric Malacology. I give it four and a half skulls out of five. Before I go, I want to give a few shout outs for other big metal releases this week. First is Pestilence. I'm the guy that wears the shirt. Normally I would review that, but I wanted to do Sluggage because it's something new. We've also got a release from Michael Schenker Fest. And Bradley made me mention the Iron Reagan Gate Creeper split. And don't forget to leave your skull rating at bangertv.com. And we'll see you next time on Overkill Reviews. <laughs>